Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mr. Shenanigans himself and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima's Shenanigans of 1977. Episode 723 of the show. Episode 45 of Martindale Monday. As you know, this is the third Martindale Monday of July of 2023, as you know. Uh, it's a 20-round battle against that mean old dragon in the middle. Hence, I got the scoreboard ready to go. What not? Why is it called Martindale Monday? Because Wink Martindale hosted Tic Tac Doe back in the day. And uh, he hosts a lot of game shows, too. I think he's the only person that hosts more game shows than anything else, anyone else. Because I think he was the quintessential, has the quintessential game show host look, you know. But also, and possibly that little game show puppet there that's uh, big with the scary teeth and all kind of modeled after him or something like that. But might I digress. Um, but anyways, it is... Um, it is something that... Um, it, it is a cool show. So, so all I gotta do now is just try to beat the dragon in twenty rounds. Can I do it? I'm doing pretty decent here as of late. So, and we're gonna go and shuffle everything up right now. Everything is covered up, as you know. The two, if I hit the two fifty and a hundred dollars, uh, in my first two calls, it'll be an MVG production shout out combination. You can see all, all the numbers up there. All right, round one's about to begin. Let's go to round three. Uh, number three. 500 bucks. Very good. Number 7. Uh, 250. Let's try number 9. Tap. Okay. Let's try number 1. Get that out of the corner. 100. Okay. If I hit 1 and 7, it would have been the MVG production shot. Let's try number 5. Let's see if it'll come up. 400. That's a win. All right. That's a win. That's a win. That's a win. So it'll be 1 to nothing. Me. Very good. One nothing. All right. So that means the even numbers are still up there. So two four six eight. Who do we do not? Who should we not appreciate? I should say number eight held the mean monster. Number two had tick in the process. Okay. Let's go round two. Round two is about to begin. Let's see what I can do for round two. Let's try number two. Four hundred dollars. Let's try number four. Three hundred more. Let's try number eight. Oh, and he's stuck on there. Number eight again. Oh, well. So much for the idea of a 20 and 0 run, but it is one up Super Mario game. <laughs> it's a Super Mario game, one up. All right, where was everything else? It was Tack and Tick, six and seven respectively. 250 and 100 would be the MVG production shot out combo special. All right, that's one and three. Okay, let's shuffle everything up. Round two, well, round three. Excuse me. Let's go round three. Three for three. 250. Let's try number seven. Attack. Let's try number nine. 400, let's try number one. 300, let's try number five in the middle. And I get it. I did it. It's two to one. It's two to one. Very good. All right. Once again, the, the odd number has done it for me. Even numbers. Two, four, six, eight. Who should we not appreciate? Number two, little deuce up there. Held to me, monster. Number four, held tick. Like I said, three and eight would have been the MVG production. Shout out combo. Let's go and shuffle it up for round four. Let's go. Let's see if we have number four. Tick. Let's try number six. Tick. And there you go. I had a hunch. I had a hunch. I had a hunch. Usually, if it, uh, it's three to one. Usually attacks behind number four, try six. Always. That's a great combination move. Yeah, attack and tick. First two calls. Would you believe that? Where was everything else? Where was the dragon? Number nine. And two and five would be the MVG production shout-out combo. Right now it's three to one. I'm in the lead. Let's run around five. Let's spin everything. Uh, spin everything. That's bullseye. Shuffle everything up. Let's try five. To five. Four hundred bucks. Let's try seven at the bottom. Bottom left. Okay, five fifty. Let's say number nine. Let's say... 500, okay, 100, let's try number 8. 500, and I did it again. I did it again. It is 4 to 1, baby, after 5 rounds. Very good. So 1 through 4 and 6, which number? 
would not give me a great fix. It would be numero uno. And if I picked two and nine, MVG production shout out combo, tack and tick behind three and four. All righty, let's go to number six. Round number six, everything is shuffled up. What's behind number six for round six? Let's, 400 bucks. Let's try number seven. Tick, let's try number nine. 250, let's try number four. 500, that's another win. That is another win. Another win, that is five to one, baby. Five to one after six rounds, very good. One through three, five and eight. Who should we not appreciate? It would be number three, that held to me, Monster. While wow, tackles behind number five. One and nine, NVG production shout out combo. You know what? Why might I keep saying that when I know I'm giving MVG production a shout out every, every chance I get? I don't know. I just want to do it properly, that's all. Okay. Because someone's been complaining about it. <laughs> all right, we're at round seven. Okay, let's try number seven. Lucky seven. 250. Let's try number nine. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, here we go. MVG production shout out combo roll call. Brandon and Sonny Scruggs. What? Cincinnati Reds fan Kevin Henry. What? Will Medina. What? Uh, Corey Lawrence. What? Mark Leota. What? Marty Bingo. What? John Bergman. What? Chris Aurora Hammond. What? Nell Snezrod. What? Uh, Jason Myers. What? Travis Coulter. What? Todd Ferguson. What? Uh, who else? Oh, I'm part of the group. Me. What? <laughs> hey, and everyone else over at MVG Productions because I hit Tree Fitty. Dang it, Loch Ness Monster. Speaking of which, I better avoid him. Let's try number five. 400 bucks. Let's try number three. Oh, there he is. Dang it, Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Seven was not a lucky number. Uh... <coughs> Five to two, though, after seven rounds, though. I'm still in the lead. So who cares, right? Um, all righty, then. We'll go. For, uh, okay, who do we appreciate? Two on two, four, six, eight. Two and eight would have been the numbers. Tick and tack. And all the other numbers were good. And that would have helped me win. But number three sucks. Okay. Let's try round eight. Round eight. Let's try round eight. What's that number eight for round eight? Ooh, 500 bucks. A big one. Let's go number four. Attack. Let's try number six. 250. Let's try number nine. 150. Let's try number 7. 10. Oh, there you go. There you go. 6 to 2 after 8 rounds. So one, so the Sean Waltman row. 1, 2, 3, kid. And 5. What's behind them? Where's Dragon? Dragon's behind number 1. 3 was had tick in his hands. Okay, let's shuffle everything up. Let's shuffle everything up. Where everything is covered. All right, number 4. Okay, oh, it's round nine. So I'll try number nine. All right, 400, 650, um, seven. 300, oh, 950, 50 bucks. So any number except the, uh, the dragon will do. Number eight, maybe? 500, there you go. There you go. After nine rounds, seven to two. I'm on a roll, folks. I'm telling you, I'm on a roll. You know, you're talking about July, you come in hot, baby. You come in hot and drop the... Stinking thing always got... Okay, one, two, three, five, and six. Where was the dragon? Number six held the mean monster. While one had tack, two, uh, five had tick, and the other numbers were good. The lowest numbers on the board. All you do is pick the four highest ones. The four highest ones, you can get a maximum of 1450 bucks. All righty then. Let's go to round number 10. We'll be halfway there. Round 10. Time to add some numbers. Nine plus one. Nine first. 150 plus 1, 250, that's 400 bucks. 7 plus 3, let's 7. Tick, let's plus 3. Tack, and there you go! Got the corners! Got the corners, baby! It is 8 to 2 after 10 rounds. Domination. 2, 4 through 6 and 8. Who should we not appreciate? I bet you two on the dragons behind number 5. Yep, I was right. I was right. I was going to... I, I was right. Now, 2, 4, and 8 would have been the numbers that win, but 3 and 7 did it for me. Look at that. All right, round 11. Here we go. We'll do some more math here. Add some numbers. Let's try it. 3 plus 8. Let's try 8 first. 500 plus 3. 400. Uh, 9 plus 2. Let's go 9. Oh, 100 bucks is what I needed. 
Oh, shoot. Eight plus three. Eight and three. Eight and three. After 11 rounds. A lot of numbers up there. What was behind number two? Oh, I should have picked two first. I should have picked two first. Instead, I picked nine first. Gosh darn it. Oh, that would have been an automatic win. Oh, that would have been a win. Oh, Eric, you dunderhead. Tack behind six, tick behind seven. Let's go. Round 12. Okay, round 12. Uh, 8 plus 4. Let's try 8 first. Tick plus 4 is 12. 250. 7 plus 5. 7 plus 5. Uh, 9 plus 3. 9. 3 would have... I, would have, oh, I should have picked 3 first. All right, it's 8 to 4. The Dragon's trying to catch up here. 8 to 4 after 12 rounds. All right, what was behind number 3? 300 bucks. That would have number three would have done it. Tack was behind number two. Ah, all right then. Nine. All right, round thirteen is thirteen. Unlucky number. Let's find out. Eight plus five is thirteen. Eight first. Tack plus five is thirteen. Um, nine plus four. Let's try nine first again. Plus four is thirteen. There you go. Thirteen's a lucky number. Nine and four. Nine of four. Very, very good. Okay, so that means one through three, six through seven. Which number was in heaven? It would be numero uno that held, uh, held that me monster up there, the dragon behind number one. Let's shuffle for round 14. All right. I'm going to use the Dolly Parton combo. Nine, two, five. Oh, forget that idea. And it's a Dolly Parton game, folks. <laughs> Nine two five. <laughs> yeah, don't ask. Me. No singing. Okay, fine, Romy. <laughs> no singing. <laughs> all right, fine. One through eight. The, all the other numbers are great. Tack and tick. Two and six, respectively. Who cares? Nine to five. Round fifteen. All right. Round fifteen. Let's probably six plus nine. Six first. Plus nine is fifteen. Okay, eight plus seven. Ah, oh. uh, nine, nine. And, uh, it's nine and six. The dragon is catching up. It's not good. Not good. All right, not good at all. Nine and seven. Uh, yeah, nine and six. Excuse me. What was behind number seven? Had I picked it, uh, I would have gone two and three. Tick and tack. Tick and tack. Respect. Tack and tick respectively. Tick and tack. Tick is behind three. Tack behind two. Tack behind two, tick behind three. For God's, for goodness sakes. Trying not to say the Lord's name in vain. That's not cool. All right, that's not cool. You're not being cool, Lima. <laughs> Round 16. <laughs> Round 16. Nine plus seven is the only one. Is it nine? Why do you like number nine so much, you stupid dragon? Why? Now it's nine to seven. Just because I have nine wins doesn't mean you have to hide behind nine every single time. Oh, my goodness. 9 plus 7 is 16, baby. What's going, what the bleep is going on? All right. Tack, tick and tack. 5 and 8, respectively. All the other numbers were good. Let's shuffle. For uh, round number 17. Because 9 and 7. All right. 9 plus 8. So 8 first. 4 plus 9. There we go with 9 again. What is with you and 9, you stupid dragon? Get out of 9. Now it's 9 to 8. For goodness sakes. Oh. Well, the third time you hide behind nine. Nine's my, one of my favorite numbers to pick in tic tac Doe. It's tick behind three, tack behind seven. All right, let's go to round number 18. And I'm staying away from nine. Let's go for eight. Tack, let's go for four. 500, let's go for seven. Well, okay, let's go for six. Okay, let's go for five. And I'm going to win. Goodness sakes. Ten to eight after eighteen rounds. If the dragon's behind nine again, I'm gonna flip. Thank God, it's behind number two. Sheepish. We're always with nine. Number nine, the dragon. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Come on, people. Sheepish. The stupid dragon's behind nine. I get less respect that way. Okay, round number nineteen. Let's go. Let's try four. Four hundred. Let's try number five in the middle. 
500. Let's try number seven. Ten to nine. Ten to nine. Ten to nine. I should have gone with number six. Could have gone number nine. The one number that would help, that kept me get, gets me losing. It ends up a winning number. Could have been a winning number. Two and six, tick and tack, respectively. Round twenty. I've had enough. All right, let's go. Number three. Four hundred. Let's write number five in the middle. Okay, let's write number six. Five hundred. I win. I win. Ugh. Final score, 11 to 9. <laughs> if the dragon had not been obsessed with having his home to be number 9 every single time, I, this would have been a better record. But I'll take it, though. I'll take it, 11 to 9. Sheepers, creepers. Where'd you get them peepers? All right. Now, before we end this crazy video, crazy Monday, it's got to be the bad case of the Mondays. I'm having a bad case of the Mondays. One, two, four. One, two, four, seven through nine. Which number was not? Numero uno. Good thing I stayed away from number one. Tackle behind four. Tick behind eight. All the other numbers are good, including number nine. <laughs> That's all the time we have on this freaking show. Freaking episode. We got running that raw tonight. Hopefully it makes me feel good. And <laughs> we'll see you guys. I'm sorry, folks. I may have to let, something out, some, let out some steam. Oh, boy. It's been a tough day. So... I will see you guys later, and have a wonderful, wonderful day, blessed day. Check out Bofus tonight at five. Uh, also, say this afternoon, later, late this, later this afternoon at five. I'm gonna check out when Shredder's Revenge the DLC is gonna come out because I want it badly. I'll wait for Super Mario Wonder back in uh, due to in October. I really don't give a flip because I am flipped out myself. I will see you guys later. I will have you, know, you guys have a wonderful day. And until the next episode comes freaking rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take Miss, take this, take me out of here. Take this home. I don't care. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E. Do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with a sweet Bofa Raving Dingleberries Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now.